Hello, my name is Sunny D. The D stands for disgrace. And um, I think Gemma is just a disgrace. Today I'm going to be ranking the runway looks from the second episode of Canada's Drag Race, Canada vs. the World. At number eight, Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Now, I love this hair. It's beautiful, it's intricate. I love the colors, great. I love the use of puppetry, that dragon. I'm obsessed, I want that dragon. For the rest of the look, I do not really care for the galaxy bodysuit. I feel like it's a little simple, especially compared to some of the other girls. And I feel like the makeup, I get she was trying to blend it with the bodysuit. I just, yeah, didn't really care for it. At number seven, Vanity Milan. Now, I love the way it juts out all these little separate pieces. I love the spikes, this head's piece, I love it. Um, what I don't love is this material, this like metallic two-tone vinyl material. I personally just don't care for the green-blue shift of what she's wearing. And also I feel like the runway theme was like galaxy and I'm not seeing any sort of galactic concept here. She looks great though. I also want to point out that those drag jewels that she has on her necklace, uh, I feel like they don't necessarily fit with the rest of the outfit. At number six, Anita Wiglet. Uh, love this. She definitely looks like a lit up night sky with all the stars. Uh, I don't really care for these like foam wigs, but I will say I love it on her. She looks like sparkly. It looks like almost like an alien brain. This crescent moon that she has going on and with the stars, it's camp. Uh, I think it's beautiful and yeah, I just wouldn't say she's like my favorite compared to some of the other looks. At number five, Rita Bega. Now, the second she walked out, I knew she was wearing a Bunny Bee Fly original. She was a drag queen on Drag Race Thailand. I love this look. The reason why it hits towards the middle, as beautiful as a look this is, all the intricate pieces, all the beautiful details. I just feel like the hair and makeup are a lot more subdued, which she could have just been trying to give the outfit like a chance to speak for itself. But I feel like with different hair and makeup, this could have been like a more cohesive, beautiful, grand look. Also, I just feel like as she was walking down the runway, it almost seems like the outfit was wearing her, not the other way around. But I will say, obviously, I am obsessed with the sun motif. Sunny. But yeah, she looks gorgeous. And number four, Raja O'Hara. Now, I love this. I love the structure of this bodice and these shoulder, the way it cuts. I love the different textures she has, this like velvet and then like this crystallized area. She looks stunning and she wore silver for her entrance look and I'm starting to feel like silver could be her new color. She looks sexy in this color. At number three, Stephanie Prince. I love this look. Y'all know I love a cultural look. I love every single like minute detail that like is going up this corset area into the bodice and I love the different textures of materials she's used. I think the fans are grand and it adds to this like deity above all. I love this. Y'all know I love me some flat hair. So I love the hair. I love this makeup, the like two-toned eyeshadows. Great. And number two, Victoria Scon. Now she is truly serving Camp Couture. These like Saturn rings that she's used to create her skirt is stunning. She said it was made of metal, so I know that was heavy. Um, I loved the movement that it had, and it was just, it was gorgeous. And usually I don't love these like galaxy print bodysuits, but with the shoulder pads and the color scheme, the color palette that she had going on, it was just gorgeous, really. And I love that she went with like a avant-garde, runway sort of makeup look. It looks beautiful. And at number one, Isis Couture. Wow, the structure of this dress, 
all the pleats, the color, the makeup, the hair, it's giving me like Aztec goddess from the year 3000, lives in space, sacrifices everyone for her pleasure. She looks incredible. And the lighting fixtures inside that like mask, wow. Science. Stunning, 10 out of 10, 10s across the board. Anyways, that was my ranking for the runway, what I liked, what I disliked. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this runway and uh, let me know who you're rooting for this season. I definitely am team Silky Raja Isis, throw some vanity in there, love them. Anyways, that was all. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.